All right, next video, next book review today. We're going to catch up and get through all the books that I uh, read in the past couple weeks. Uh, the other book, uh, another one of the books that I read was Night Watch. Um, you know, a lot of you people might uh, already know about this uh, because they had seen the film. Uh, it is uh, written by a Russian author, and then it was made into a, a, a film in Russia. Uh, and I had seen the film first, and I hadn't read the book first. So usually, you know, it goes the other way around. But um, the movie was great. So if you, you know, if you haven't seen the movie, go check out the movie. But the book was even better than the movie, which is usually the case with, you know, movies made from books. Um, but there's things... There's things that I liked about the movie better than the book, but then there's also things that I liked better about the book than I like about the movie. And that's kind of the same thing with a lot of books made into movies. <clears throat> it's uh, the, the book goes into a lot more character development, and you get to know An Anton a lot better, and a lot of the characters a lot better. <coughs> but then also... The movie, like the action in the movie, was just awesome and amazing. And they kind of twist the plot a little bit in the movies. Um, the book actually has a lot of things that take place in the second movie, in Daywatch. And I haven't read the whole trilogy yet, which is um, the next few books I'll probably pick up. would be, uh, it goes Night Watch, then Day Watch, and then Twilight Watch. And those will probably be the next books that I pick up. Um, but the... This book is great, though, because it also goes into, like, one of the things that I think about in my artwork is that the balances between good and evil, the balances between light and dark. And that's really what this book is about. You know, it's about, you know, trying to find a middle ground in between good and evil. And, uh, you know, because none of us are truly good and none of us are truly evil, we're all kind of in the middle. And that's really what this book is about. And the main character, Anton, he works for the Night Watch. And basically the Night Watch are like good magicians, vampires, whatever. You know, it goes, it's kind of a fantasy book, but it takes place in uh, present day time. But Anton struggles with this himself, you know. He, he works for the Night Watch, so he, he's a good, a good magician or whatever. But he's always struggling with like these... These ideas that would probably push him over to the dark side, um, you know, make him, you know, a little more evil. And he's he's also manipulated quite a lot in this book and in the movies. Um, you know, that's part of the story about it is that he doesn't really know what's going on. He's trying to piece it together. And he's, you know, the, the Night Watch has like... You know, uh, th their own hierarchy, like any business or, you know, organization or government. You know, they have the people at the top and then the people at the bottom. And Anton's kind of close to the bottom. He's a computer programmer. And then they send him out actually for his first field mission. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a little bit of a cold. Um, you know, Minnesota. But, uh... He, the, it starts out with his first mission. He goes out into into the field to work on his other mission. And one of the things that they that they touch on in the movie that wasn't in this book that I'm hoping is in the other books, the other two, because like I said, I haven't read those yet. Um, but is that um, the the boy that is in the book that becomes an other, and that's what they call them. They don't call them vampires or magicians. You know, they kind of do, but really they're just labeled as others. You know, people with extraordinary abilities that you know don't fit into the real world and you know it it goes into in the movie about how the boy is actually Anton's son they don't touch this at all in the first book which I'm kind of hoping that they do in the second book but I'll have to see but I have seen you know I have seen the movies that are out Night Watch and Day Watch and um it you know, it really went into it in the first movie in, in Day Watch. Really, that's that's what a lot of the conflict is about. And it's it's not in this first book, which to me was a little disappointing. But, I mean, you know, I probably should have read the book before one and going and see the movie. But the movie just looked so cool. And it came out a couple of years ago before I'd heard of any of it. It's like I didn't even know it was based on a book when I went and saw the movie. And I was just rifling through my bookstore. And I was like... Night Watch? What's that? I picked it up and looked at it and I was like, oh, this is the movie I saw. So I'm going to read the book and the, the book was great. This, um, 
The storytelling is great. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce this guy's name. It's Sergei Lukianen, you know, something like that. But um, I'm not very good at Russian, and um, but it, his writing, even having it being translated from Russian, it was still great. Um, the storytelling was really descriptive, and it it was like you could picture everything that happened. So you know, if you're one of those fans who who loves storytelling. Um, you know, even from translations, this was great. You know, because you can always tell. You know, like Franz Kafka, he didn't write in English, but his his stories that are translated into English are just as descriptive, and they're really amazing. And it doesn't lose any of the qualities about that. So people don't be afraid to read authors from other countries. You know, most of the time they're translated really well. They work hard on this. The translators doing they did a great job with this book. So go out and pick up this book if you're really into kind of like more fantasy or, you know, vampires and, you know, you know, dark forces moving against light forces and stuff. You know, they did have one part that was really cool in uh, the book that was in the movie about the woman who has the spinning vortex above your head. And like if she if they don't get this vortex collapsed, it's going to cause some huge major disaster in Moscow and. I mean, that part was, it was just as good in the book as it is in the movie. So, I mean, neither lost anything there. So, you know, go and pick up this book. If you, you know, even if you're not a reading person, go see the movie. You know, Nightwatch was a great movie and Daywatch was a great movie. It just came out on DVD. Daywatch did. Nightwatch came out a couple of years ago. Um, and then uh, Twilight Watch comes out here, I think, like in a year or two. But all the books are out. So, you know, if you watch the first movie and you're hungry for more like I was, go out and pick up the, uh, the books. Night Watch, Day Watch, Twilight Watch. Even though, like I said, I haven't read Day Watch and Twilight Watch. But if they're anywhere as good as this, it's, they've got to be great. So I enjoyed these this book a lot, and it was a good distraction, you know, away from the textbooks I have to read for school and the, you know, the theoretical physics that I do read a lot and I'm fascinated with. But you know, you just can't can't like just shut your mind off sometimes when you read that stuff. You have to focus. And this I read this book in maybe three days, four days I think it was. It's like 450 pages, and you know, I just whipped through it just because. It, it's one of those books where like you just want to keep reading. You want to get to the next part and see what happens next and see what happens next. And, you know, even after seeing the movie where I like I had a good idea of what would happen next, I still wanted to read it and find out what happened next. So go pick up Day Watch, Night Watch, Twilight Watch. You know, you're going to start, you know, you always want to start with the first one, Night Watch. But go pick them up. They're definitely worth reading. The movies are definitely worth watching. Highly recommended.